you know, most of the time, we, we want to see big things. The way you are, God loves you. You must not kill yourself. You must not kill yourself by your situation. Tell someone, don't kill yourself. There are people who want to kill themselves here. They are here, they are tired about their lives. They are tired, oh, it's better I die. Let's get one who wants to kill himself. Come forward. If you want to kill yourself, can you see? Look at this lady now. She wants to kill herself. There are people who want, they are tired. So the message of God loves you is your message. You want to kill yourself. Do you want to kill yourself? Yes, I, um, I suffer from depression because I'm not healthy. So that's why you want to kill yourself? Yeah, because I just sleep the whole day. There's nothing I can do. The doctors say they found a red disease in my body, can which is affecting that? my eyes and ears. You say, doctor found this and I sleep the whole day. I want to kill myself. People want to kill, they are tired. Some of them, uh, when a boyfriend says, I don't love you anymore, you want to kill yourself, not knowing that the handsome and better man can marry you tomorrow. Amen. But you want to kill yourself from this stupid one who can see your beauty. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. We take decisions of now. We forget what God can do tomorrow. Amen. Like, Mama, I want to kill myself. Why? Because she's sick can sleep the whole day. So, do, what is it that want God to do for you? To heal me. To heal you? Yes, please. Can you take camera close to where you will see that this person is sick and even, can you walk? Look how she walk. Come. Look how she walk. Look it. So she suffer from depression and all those other things. Do you feel pains when you walk? Um, Sometimes in my feet, not all the time. Can we, where do you come from? I come from four, uh, from four ways. Four ways? Yes. God loves you, he will heal you. Amen. Let me pray for you. You are healed today. People want to you are, you are in a shack, and you have got a good health in one room. Somebody stays in center, but want to kill himself. Can, can you just walk? Let me see how you walk now. Show me you are healed. Show me. Come back. Turn. You can see now. How do you feel? I feel lighter. You feel light? Yes, yes. Turn and walk. Go there. Go there. You are, you are staying in Ivory Park. And then you, you have got only money to buy Mautwana. And you are, you are not sick. You are not feeling pain. Always you say, go, go. I want to stay in Senten. And someone is sick in Senten. You wish to be a donkey. A lot of money is there, but he wish to be a donkey. To show that life is not what we have. You cannot destroy yourself by what you are facing. The more you expand in the world, the more your health can deteriorate. You realize that you don't need money because nothing will buy your health. Nothing, nothing will buy what? Tell you what, nothing can buy your health. See, now you're dreaming, Jesus, Jesus, give me, give me Pajero, give me Pajero. And the one who's driving Pajero, the heart can't beat right. You need to open, I mean, the old air, and it's cold there, so that the heart will cool down. That's the reason why God gave him Pajero. You need bicycle, so that you'll be strong more. You cannot cry for, I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. You, you are crying for something that does not need your health. That will come now and bring problems to your health. 
What you need now, you just need something that will make your body strong. As long as you trust God, all other things will follow you. I don't, I don't understand if you hear what I'm saying. Do you know that what we are crying for? Eating meat every day. Eating meat every day. You are like, destroy your life. Peri peri. When you reach 40 now, you find that, you know, always you have got something that moves here. Something that goes up here and come here. Right now when you are young, you are eating everything. You are eating everything. But now when you're just 40, 45 now, you realize you can't eat everything. That's why these people are telling you, life starts at 40. You are drinking cold drink, coke, coke, coke. Now when you reach somewhere now, you are sweaty. You can't run again. The money that you are using, spending this, buy cold drink, now you chakalaka here. This chakalaka will speak against you one day. <laughs> and now you are crying for all these things. You want God to bless you with money so that you eat more chakalaka. And this chakalaka is killing you. What you need now? Know that God loves you. Huh? Pray, loving this God. He will guide you. Many people are sick today, not because of, I mean, reaching your age now, like your... This age, come. Re reaching this age nowadays, it's not easy. Reaching the age of this one, it's not easy nowadays. You must question yourself, if now you have not reached 50, now you are, you are passing 50, what happens to you? you? Now you are failing even to move fast now. If you climb the stairs, <sighs> but you have not even reached 50, what will happen to you? This shows that one day you will die. If now you are like this, 50, and you are facing this yourself, you are 30, you are facing the same. This tells you that it's possible you won't reach 50. I'm sure, I don't, I don't know if you're hearing me. Therefore, now if you realize that your life, you, you are not here forever, what are you going to do? You start to tune your life for God now. You realize that you don't need money. You don't need this. You don't need, like I'm standing here. Do I look like I'm coming from America? So now you don't need that. What you are crying for is useless. Okay, just, just, just go. What you need is to know that God loves you. Now you live for God. And if you do that, God will make you to live to fulfill his will. But if you live like... You want to be like this, you want to be like that, you want to be like this, you will never reach there. The money you are crying for, you will never have it. Because that money, when you get it, it's a problem. The day you get that money, you won't sleep. The whole year, you'll be looking around who's coming to steal your money. No prayer, no fasting. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Let's deal with ourselves now before all other things come. So that when they come, they won't do what? They won't affect the love of God in us. Think about now you, the way you are working now, but you don't have money. You are trying to bring attention to anyone. The day you get money, you walk in the air. No prayer, no reading the Bible. No study, no, no coming to church again. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. There are many things that can make us, the love of God in us, to go away from us. Many things. Not only people affecting us, even our lifestyle. Because I know that he who that God blesses, he must spend time in private. The problem is now, you forget God. You are trying to attract attention. 